This is a patient who had a bowel surgery, had a few x-rays in the postoperative period that showed increasing amount of pneumoperitoneum. So they were worried about a bowel leak. And so for this study, they actually wanted to do rectal contrast uh, in order to uh, get uh, oral contrast within the uh, bowel. And so we did this with uh, intravenous and uh, the rectal contrast. We can see immediately that uh, there certainly is uh, extra luminal air, all this gas over here. Um, and as we scroll down through all of it, I'm sure you're able to catch this large blob of oral contrast that's sort of lying anterior to the left kidney, adjacent to several loops of uh, bowel over here, and uh, not really conforming to the shape of any bowel. You can see bowel loops here. This is a large bowel with some of the rectal contrast. This is the sigmoid colon, some of the rectal contrast. But this sort of structure here, this looks like it's, um, it's free and it's sort of floating around within the abdominal cavity. As we scroll through it, we can see very carefully, going back over here, that there's a little track that's arising from this region, which is the region of the bowel anastomosis. You can see the bowel anastomosis here. And so from that region of the anastomotic suture that has broken down, there's a dehiscence, and there's this, all this oral contrast that's sort of pouring into the abdominal cavity. And so this was confirmed on patient going back to the operating room. Indeed, there was a leak at the level of the bowel anastomosis.